Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today I'll be talking about polycystic ovarian syndrome also known as PCOS. Watching this video till end will help you find out which type of PCOS you have and how can you manage it without medicines. So to begin with, it is actually a very complex hormonal disorder spreading really fast in today's world. It affects every 1 in 5 women. But the problem with this syndrome is that around 70% cases remain undiagnosed and a lot are misdiagnosed as PCOS. What actually happens is hormonal imbalance. Especially male hormones like testosterone are increased in women which leads to lots of health problems. Around 75% women with PCOS have menstrual irregularities of any type. Then another problematic symptom is weight gain. Beside that, excessive facial or body hair, acne or oily skin are also present in many patients. Beside all this, most stressful problem with which most women present is difficulty conceiving. Hair loss may also be present. To label someone with PCOS, this criteria is used, which includes irregular menstrual cycle, increased level of male hormones, and presence of multiple cysts on ovaries. You should have at least 2 out of 3 of following to be diagnosed with PCOS. Many of you may already know about PCOS but very few know about its types. So please try to understand that it affects everyone differently. Find out your root cause by knowing the type which is most important step in treating. So to begin with first and the most common type is insulin resistant. Striking feature in this type is weight gain, especially around abdomen and this weight is very difficult to lose. In this type, insulin level in your body is increased but your body is not responding to it, which can also lead to diabetes. Second type is inflammatory type. This type may present with chronic headaches, joint pains, unexplained tiredness all the time, skin conditions like eczema, digestive issues like irritable bowel syndrome or having other autoimmune conditions. In this type, CRP levels would be increased in blood. In this type, addressing gut health is very important. Third type is adrenal PCOS. In this type, usually there is history of stress and depression and there is increased level of dihydroepiandrosterone sulfate only. Key to manage this type is to manage stress. Then the last type is post-pill PCOS. It occurs when women stop taking oral contraceptive pills. It occurs few months after quitting. It usually heals with time. In this type, key to manage is to be patient. One thing I would like to add is that in few people, these types may overlap. So in that case, you need to manage both types. PCOS puts you on risk of many other health problems like diabetes, increased cholesterol, uterine problems, depression or sleep apnea. When we come to management, bad news is that once you have PCOS, you have it forever. But good news is that you can manage it so well that even without medicines, you can almost become problem free. First, let's talk about things in general which worsens PCOS. You need to stay away from sugar, oily foods, stress, extra cages, inactive lifestyle, dairy products, gluten and processed foods. After that say a big no to oral contraceptive pills. These don't even tap your root cause. All they do is mask the symptoms and when you quit these pills all problems return. Then reducing weight is most important part in managing. Even 5% reduction shows very good results. Keep calculating your BMI and reduce your weight gradually over 3 to 6 months. After that, your diet really matters. Firstly, you don't need to do any crash diets. Eat healthy. Quit sugar and oily foods. Reduce intake of foods with high glycemic index like rice, bakery items, white flour, cold drinks, processed foods, potatoes and fruits like mango and melon. Generally, it is seen that women with PCOS have habits of eating high glycemic index foods. 
If you have sugar cravings, eat low glycemic index foods like dates, fruits like apple, banana, dark chocolate and many more. Try to identify and avoid other food triggers like for some women dairy products or gluten like wheat can cause inflammation. To know quit these from your diet for 6 to 8 weeks and then see results. Also avoid fast foods especially those containing chicken. Eat fiber rich diet like vegetables and fruits. Eat proteins like eggs, fish, lean meat. Eat good fats. Add nuts to your diet. Take low carb diet but do not skip them. Prefer complex carbohydrates like whole grains, brown rice and unprocessed foods and add turmeric to your diet. Our sedentary lifestyles are main cause of PCOS in this generation and it worsens the symptoms. So please stay active, reduce your screen time, at least exercise, walk or play any outdoor game for 30 minutes at least 5 days a week. It will help reduce your weight, improves insulin resistance and also improves effect of medicines. Besides that, taking supplements also improves symptoms, especially zinc, omega-3, magnesium and vitamin D are very important. If this video helped you, please like, comment, share and subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching this video.